guys, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian, where you can learn all about horses, farm life, and all of the wonderful things that comes along with owning these great, amazing creatures. So if you're really liking the channel, if you could do me a favor, subscribe, comment, like, we would really appreciate it. So this is Jafar, my auction Friesian. He's five years old. Um, so today what we're gonna work on is riding bitless for the first time. So it'll be his first time under saddle ever riding bitless. So it'll be really fun to see how he responds and what we can learn from this session today. Um, what I use is a little S hackamore. So you can see this is really, really great. Um, it puts pressure on the nose for them to respond. Of course, I think these are very gentle. Um, you don't have a ton of like lateral movement with these but I really like them on the trail and we're definitely gonna be doing a lot of trail riding. So I want him to become accustomed to it. Um, the bridle I have is a biothane bridle. Really, really love these. Again, great for the trails where they get sweaty, super easy to clean, fun colors. So, okay. All right, I'm going to tack him up and we are gonna head into the arena and start our session. Okay, we're gonna warm up with some groundwork first and then I'm gonna put the bridle on. Okay, now that we've completed our groundwork, I'm gonna go ahead and put the bitless bridle on him. So putting this on is basically like putting a halter on since um, there is no bit that actually goes in their mouth. But the hackamore, again, it is an actual bit. It just doesn't have a bit that goes in their mouth. So yeah, pretty interesting. He's been really good about bridling and um, even with the bit too. So I'm really happy about that. And I just want to adjust it to him right now, make sure it fits both sides of his face and um, make sure that everything is adjusted accordingly. Also, I realized later the reason why he flinched and why he's looking out like that is because there was actually a coyote running around in the field and it ran behind the gate of the indoor arena outside so he got a little nervous about that which i totally understand but anyways yeah it was pretty interesting So this bit is highly adjustable. Um, you can adjust like the front of the nose band, the back and all of that. So I'm just making sure it's not too tight. I want my horse to be able to move their jaw and not have a tight nose band. I want it relatively loose. Okay, so first I just wanna do a little bit of in hand work, making sure that he's comfortable with this bridle and bit. So I'm just gonna very lightly vibrate the left side and kind of ask him to move his hindquarters and I'm going to kind of see if he's moving forward so that he understands the pressure and I'm going to do it from the other side as well so again I'm just kind of wiggling um, out to the side laterally so that he can kind of understand and respond to that to move to the right and I'm just using my hand to get him to move his hindquarters now I've been working with him a lot and I trust him, but you would want to be really careful if you're working with the horse that you were unsure of, putting your hand out and being close to their hindquarters like that. Um, but I have a really good read on him, so I felt comfortable doing that with him. Now I'm going to ask him to back up <laughs> and see if he understands the pressure on his nose versus through his mouth, since this is completely different. But he's used to, you know, obviously having a halter on, so it is similar, but I just want to be sure. Okay, I feel confident about the bridle, so I'm gonna take him over to the mounting block and hop on.
So we're just gonna take it really slow today because obviously I want him to be able to adjust to this. The reason that I enjoy riding bitless is because I do a lot of trail rides and endurance rides and I want my horse to be able to eat and drink on the trail. That's really important when it comes to endurance and of course trail riding because even for our typical trail rides, like we usually do like a minimum of 10 miles. So when he gets to that point, um, this will be a really good skill for him to have learned. So obviously we're gonna start that in the arena first so that he and I feel both, both feel confident with it. So because we saw that coyote earlier, he's a little nervous about going back there, which I completely do not blame him at all. Plus, this is only his second time being ridden in the indoor arena. We've been doing everything outside since it's been pretty decent out. So yeah, with that situation of him being nervous, I'm just gonna obviously talk to him and let him know everything's okay. And then I'm gonna bring him back to the other side and just kind of do some bend work with him, a little bit of circling. And then we're gonna approach uh, the other end of the arena where he was a little nervous again. So it's kind of hard to tell, but you can see that he's a little tense because he's approaching that back where we saw the coyote, but he's handling it really well. Like I can feel his energy. So I'm just trying to direct it into a positive situation, positive way so that he will feel confident with me. Um, he's not really offering to do anything. You can feel, like I said, you can feel the tension and I feel like he definitely could spook if I was to amplify that energy, but instead we're just going to make it calm. Uh, so right there, I just asked him to stop, wanted to see how he was responding to pressure on his nose. It's kind of funny because obviously this video is about riding him bitless for the first time, but sometimes it turns into other things like working through that little bit of tension that arose. So I'm just doing a few circles right here with him to see how he's responding to the bitless bridle. And he's doing really well. And I'm gonna ask him to move out a little bit. So something huge that we're working on is because he's a Frisian, he's very animated and very head high. <laughs> you can see he's like, please don't let that coyote get near here again, which we really ha haven't had a problem with them. But at the same time, it was just that really strange occurrence. Anyway, so he, they are very high headed and um, very uphill. So we are doing a lot of work to try to bring that, you know, head down, not, not just bringing the head down like by force, but just by relaxation, no gimmicks or sawing or anything like that. But because he's a little tense from the um, coyote, I just want him to kind of just move out. I'm not really gonna, you know, ask much of him. I just kind of want him to move just in his natural way for right now. Plus, it just takes a lot of muscle to be able to, you know, kind of relax and get into that, not long and low, but just a nice sort of on the bit, um, real, you know, shoulder level headset. That comes with a lot of time. So yes, he's very head high, but we are working on it. And also his trot is extremely bouncy and it is exhausting. And I've literally lost four pounds in like the three weeks I've been riding him because it takes so much energy. And it's hard to look good when you're riding him, like literally. Um, but I'm really tired today too. So yep, I'm making excuses. <laughs> But overall, he's responding really well to the little S Hackamore and the bitless bridle. I feel like he's turning really well in comparison to the bit. He's stopping, transitioning, listening, excellent. So really happy with that. Uh, again, he's only been under saddle for 45 days before I got him. 
So all of this is still new to him. I love looking at his silhouette. It looks really pretty right there. I love this shot. Anyways, I'm just letting him relax here. So because he was nervous at this end of the arena, this is the spot I want to make the good spot where this is where he gets a break. This is where he gets to chill. So maybe in his mind that will transfer over and be like, oh, okay, this is where I get to relax. Therefore, maybe that relaxation will carry over to our exercises. But again, he's being really good. He's super level-headed and chill. Even when he got really tense, he handled everything perfectly. Such a sweet horse. For a five-year-old, I'm really impressed. I'm really, really enjoying him and loving him. I love that we can try all these different things together. And it's such a learning process. And this is such a different breed for me as well. Like I said, I've never even ridden a Frisian or anything like that. So really fun. Um, I'm used to my stock horses and my chunky pony. So this, this has been really cool. So now we're just going to cool down. If you guys liked it, if you could subscribe, comment, and like, we'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much for tuning in.